I just say it's a 16 year old girl slaughtering fascists. Yeah. So that's I like think, a pretty much hit the nail on the head. Right? Yeah. If I'm going to say it in one sentence, you know, yeah, that's if good. you're going to open it up a little bit, I'll say, you know, a bit more. But that's that's kind of my like uh, elevator sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a it's an I like to think of it as a an action comedy horror thriller type. yeah like it 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 blends a lot of genres um comic book yeah. bright colors drenched in and, blood and murder, hopefully yeah. and hopefully fun yeah fun times yeah <laughs> <laughs> someone said the other day it's not okay to slap people but it's okay to slap nazis yes. and I, yeah that's and i'd say feel. slap is like the punch bare minimum or of slaughter. what you should do if you find a nazi <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was really important for us that this film be like that we had the ability to bring a new audience into this film. Um, we were very like specific about wanting the title to be The Wrath of Becky so that if they heard of The Wrath of Becky, they could go see this. It's a film that stands on its own two feet while simultaneously satisfying all of the fans of the first film, yeah. hopefully. So there's definitely plenty to... Uh, pull from the first film and, and continued storylines and stuff, but we hopefully do it in such a way that um, newcomers to the franchise can can watch it and, and, and go, oh, I should watch it. Becky 1 yeah. after. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We want to bring that, that new audience in. I mean, I think it, it, it starts as that, kind of in the first one. There's Becky, and then there's the wrath of Becky. You know, it is very different, but... I don't know. I mean, you guys can talk about the process, but it's really fun to kill Nazis, right? I yeah. mean, it's cathartic. It's, it was fun to watch you kill fake yeah. Nazis. It also yeah. like, <laughs> it's also like when you have the conversation of, so, okay, we're coming on to the sequel. Where do we take Becky uh, from here? It felt very organic given the world right now and pulling from the headlines. Yeah, and Becky's like, pissed off at everything yes, right like everything course. makes her so. like at bare been, minimum grumpy yeah 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 and so like these people these fascists these noble men are um just like bait for her you know they're just like mm, delicious it, it's delicious a reason killing. It, it's a place to put her anger and it's yeah. a place to put um all of the training that she's <laughs> been through you know because she's been getting ready for this so it's the something that she needs to it's it's her calling. She knew it was coming. She, yeah. She had a she, feeling. Yeah, she had a feeling. She, she watched the news. She yeah, did. She, she the heard news. the radio. She's been waiting. Yeah. She did hear the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Where we uh, begin with her is she kind of talks about, you know, the two years that she's been on her own and in and out of foster care and breaking the law and getting into trouble and trying to find... <laughs> Trying to find a roof over her head and simultaneously, you know, like protecting Diego and still having that connection and also um, surviving and uh, planning and preparing. Um, but she's found Elena and she's found this home. She has a community within that um, and her job. And she's just like she's kind of almost living some sense of Becky's normal life um, with her job and Elena. And um, But then, you know, shit goes down. Yeah, and bury, <laughs> burying all that trauma from the first Yeah, film, oh yes, of bubbling. course. Yeah, everything that's happened. She's She's been through multiple lifetimes in a short amount of time, a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, I, I think... Matt wrote the script in three weeks, and I think uh, we broke it in like one day, and then he went off and wrote it in three weeks, and I think that's <laughs> because it was quite cathartic, and it was like... I, I mean, you can speak to that more, but... No, I, I think the email with the first draft attached just said, care for some catharsis with a question mark. And and then the attachment. I think yeah. I think that's yeah. I think that's yeah. what we sent. I was like, good. It's the like pre-production log line. Yeah. Um, so yes, to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was definitely important to me going into this second movie that there was a lot of blood and carnage, but in a different way than maybe you know we saw in the first Becky because she's got her color pencils and broken rulers and and a lot of fun stuff there. But now she's got 
the real deal. You know, she's got grenades and guns and, and she's ready. Um, she's been training for this, you know, with the first Becky, she wasn't really prepared. Um, so I wanted to show that she's, she's ready for this. And I, I did some training myself before, um, uh, we left to start filming, uh, and I just I just wanted to make sure I looked like I knew what I was doing because I obviously like don't really, but <laughs> but um, no it was really important uh, for me to make sure it looks like I was putting a little bit of effort into which I was into yes. the physicality because a lot of the filming and a lot of what we were doing was physicality and Gosh. also practical effects and special like all the credit to those people like uh, with the blood blood continuity like. It's just, insane. it's insane, and I feel like we did a really good job, and it was some hard stuff to pull off, um, but it's amazing, and I really, I love how it turned out, and, and other people do. hats off to Lulu. Thank we you. had an incredible stunt team led by <laughs> oh, uh, we really did. Corey Piano, yeah. but um, when it came to she did Becky love, flipping, did Becky yeah. diving from I things couldn't exploding, do that was all Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, the rope, yeah, the rope the she failed. She I, couldn't failed the rope. Do, I couldn't do the rope. I said, can you do one more? She said, no. Nope. Yeah, it's very different. Yes. Yeah, we're very big on uh, practical. If you can do it, yeah, special effects yeah. Yeah. over visual effects as much as much as possible. Definitely. Yeah. Especially on 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 smaller films, you know, you yeah, you, the more you can lean into that, uh, the better. Unless you feel like truly visual effects are going to really heighten this particular kill. I would say it's more of an action yeah. movie. I think I'd say it's horrific <laughs> in a lot of ways, you know, it's like terrific. Yeah. Right? It's horrifically yeah. terrific in so much <laughs> as it's a, like it is um, maybe some a fantasy of a lot of people. people. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's quite a, a, a bit of blood. Um, I which think every horror like, fan fan of the horror genre will, will enjoy the movie find yeah. something within it yes. to like, because it's just yeah. there's so much to there's so much to love yeah it's, it's very so, exactly so. yeah yeah and what's cool about it too is that our protagonist is delivering the horror and oh, yeah. you know in a lot of ways but then our antagonists are horrific in their daily lives and what they're uh, attempting to do and what they do online so there's there's Lots of horror, just maybe not ex like a, a, a typical horror film. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's like, it feels like where it's at, right? I mean, yeah. you have yeah. superhero films and then you have like great fun genre. Yeah. What, Cocaine Bear just came out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> and you have things like Violent yeah. Night and yeah. Nobody yeah. and these films that are really resonating. I mean, I grew up in the 90s with Tremors. So like fun it was very genre -y. Yeah, know. but yeah, I think there's a level of respect now that everyone's happy to see yeah. go around in the People genre world. Yeah. Uh, we just want them to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, so excited just to see... Yeah. Like, I just want to know, like, how, before I'm like, this is how I want people to react, I want to know how they do yeah. react, because I feel a certain way about it, and I know, like, the people that I have shared, like, little bits with, like, yeah. feel a certain way about it, but, like, <laughs> I don't know, just, like, I want an audience, and I want to know what a group of people think, just, like, to hear, like, woos and ahs and ah. Oh, like, God. I'm so Yeah, excited. it's satire. Uh, me too. Know? It's so nerve-wracking. Yeah. yeah. In it's, a fun it, way. It's, it's, sat it's, it's fun satire, way. so it should be, it should be fun, yeah. yeah, relevant, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that's what that's I what feel like take. there are a lot of opportunities for an audience to weigh in like yes mm, a yes to we react. really set yeah. out to make yeah. a crowd pleaser yes. like this should it, I think it is that's, I think that was yeah with the way us. with the cam like the camera's a character crash with zooms, how many crash zooms yeah. and what pans we have like it's very it's a very rhythmic film it's very tight every frame the needs editing to be there. is amazing yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It's, yeah, it was just fun. I mean, like everyone, I, I've said this before, but it was kind of like shooting a play because we had so many moving factors, short shooting schedules, and everyone, every single day, led by Lulu, came, like, showed up with their A game. Like, Big cast, and, and she's covered yeah. in blood the whole time, just sitting there like. That was like five days of it. Oh my God, she's, <laughs> uh, she's crazy. She's crazy. How, mu yeah. how much fake blood did you use? We should ask. We should ask. Like, yeah, yeah, because there's like I keep like eating this microphone. I, <laughs> that's, whatever. That's okay. It's, that's okay. it's like that's fun. Okay. Um, but, <laughs> um, no, but no, a, a, a lot. I would like to know though, we, like we the find exact amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Twitty.
gallons and gallons. Yeah, gallons I know that. I know. No, yeah. definitely because gallons. what was happening like while we were filming that was the bloody scene. I was sitting there, you know, chopping. <laughs> um, I was really looking forward to that day too. Yeah. Um, but it was Megan and somebody else was brian. sitting yeah brian was just, just like throwing blood yeah sitting yeah. there yeah. and they had like tubes and like bottles and they just like buckets and yeah just it was the most so fun. many good i have so many good pictures it was yeah. amazing and you have 30 the crew members day, with their mouths their jaws open, on the ground yeah. and we're just like yeah, mine let her go because like, i had blood in your mouth <laughs> it was disgusting we didn't say cut like no we were just like no well just i was going. having a really good time like scream- <laughs> no like uh, screaming like only that lulu is amazing. wilson can play this role that's that's thank the you. beauty of that <laughs> <laughs> thank you is that no one else is like i just <laughs> couldn't i wouldn't have let you cut <laughs> no yeah good <laughs>